Welcome to the AIM Learn Fast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This AIM Sports Learn Fast training module is Advanced Track Map Features in Race Studio 2. To begin, I suggest if you want a basic overview of the track map function in Race Studio 2, please view the Generating a Track Map in Race Studio 2 basic video. This video covers the basic AIM track map information not covered in this video. The creation of a track map in Race Studio 2 software is very easy as the program is designed to provide you with a very good track map automatically. However, the track map function is also designed to give you the power to modify and adjust all of your track map options, either as you are creating it or even in the future. To start the process, we need to have one of your tests open and then click on the map menu item. And like in most pull down menus, you will be given several choices. For example, in this case you have three choices. The first one is New. This is the option to create a new track map. We also have the option of Map Manager, and this is where you will open an existing track map to modify it. The third choice is to Show Track Map, and this is where you will quickly show the active track map to assist you with your data analysis. In this case, we are going to start with a new track map, so we will click on the New menu item to open the Track Map dialog panel. In this dialog panel, we have all the advanced tools you will need to modify and adjust the track map. As you can see here, the Race Studio 2 program always creates a new track map when you have clicked on the new option, but you are able to use the many controls to modify or adjust the track map. Let's start in the rotation area of the panel. As you can see here, we have a slider bar that will allow you to rotate the map. The rotation of the track map is to give you a better visual representation of the track map. To rotate the map, click and drag the slider bar back and forth until you are satisfied with it. The other option in the rotation area of the panel is the mirror button. This will do exactly what it sounds like, mirror the track map. This may be needed if the map generation process is using lateral G sensor data that has not been calibrated correctly and left-hand corners are being recorded as right-hand corners. The need to mirror track maps has been reduced since many users started using GPS sensors, but we still have the function in case you need it. To mirror the track map, click on the Mirror button. Another option we have is right here next to the rotation area. It is Default Values. If you find yourself at any time wanting to fully reset all of the settings in the track map dialog panel, click on the Default Values button. Moving on, here in the corners area of the dialog panel, there are many things we can do, and in the basic video we cover many of them, but in this video I want to highlight one that you will use a lot for advanced adjustments, and it is the track shape slider bar. You may want to use this function if the track shape does not match exactly what you would like. There are a couple of reasons this might happen, and they are banked corners that can create somewhat misleading lateral accelerometer results, and the other is a miscalibrated lateral accelerometer. Again, these issues are becoming rare as more users are using GPS sensors, but we still give this adjustment. To modify the track shape, click and drag on the slider bar. The most popular function that advanced track map builders use is modifying the parts of the track map, also known as track sections or segments. This would be removing and then creating track map segments where they will work best for your data analysis. As you can see here, the automatic segmenting process has created 19 segments, and these are created based on lateral accelerometer values. By default, the straight segments are colored green, the right-hand corners are red, and finally the left-hand corners are blue. You can remove a single segment or even remove all segments at once. To remove just a single segment, click on the map segment to select it and then click on the Remove button to remove it. As you can now see, the blue left-hand corner segment that was there has now been removed, and we now have a single green straight segment all the way from the start-finish line to the blue-colored Turn 2 segment. You can continue to click on individual segments and then remove them, or you can simply click on the Remove All button to remove all of the segments. Now that we have removed all of the segments, you can create your own segments in several different ways. 
The first way is to click directly on the map where you would like to start a track segment. And then click on the Divide button. As you can see, you have just created a new segment with a red color. We will change that in a moment. But first, let's create another segment at a known distance. Let's say you know you want to start a segment at 2500 feet past the start finish line. We can do this by highlighting and removing the 1138 foot value in this box that was the distance from the last place we clicked on the map. Then type in our new distance of 2500 feet. And then click on the Move To button. As you can see, the cursor in the map has moved to the 2500 foot point of the map. To divide the track at this point and start a new segment, click on the Divide button. As you can see, we have now created a new segment there. One other powerful visual tool is in this area. These two lines highlighted here represent the speed data, the blue line, and the lateral accelerometer data, the green line. These can be used to help you select positions to click on the track map where you may want to choose to divide it. Maybe you want to create a map based on acceleration or braking zones. You can click in this area, right where the blue speed trace decreases, indicating a braking zone, to create the start of a segment right where the braking zone started. This area is another great way to identify where you want to create your segments. Moving on, we may not like the colors that have been assigned to the map segments. We have an advanced tool for you to take care of this. First, you need to select a segment by clicking on the map segment. Then this button in the Modify Part area is a toggle that if you click on it will toggle between the three colors of green, red, and blue. Click on the button until the segment is the color you want. Then click on the next segment to select it. And click on this button to change the color. We have just created and changed the colors of a couple of segments and to complete the track map we would just need to continue and work our way around the track. As always, when you have a track map just how you want it, we must give it a name and save it. To do this, we need to click into the file name text box. And then type in your track name. In this case, we will name it Sebring New. And then to finish the saving of our new track map, we need to click on the OK button. This completes the advanced track map features in Ray Studio 2 video. As I mentioned before, for more information about track maps in Ray Studio 2, please watch the Generating a Track Map in Ray Studio 2 Basic video. For more AIM Sports Learn Fast eTraining content and information about upcoming on site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.